traders, how are you? Vladimir here from Home Trader Club and welcome to the weekly Forex forecast. Most recent week was very interesting and so far the strategy of sell in May and go away does not prove to be the best chosen strategy. However, it all might change uh, for the markets and the volatility is increasing. We had several very interesting events published uh, the during the last week, if it's the Federal Reserve who hiked the rates by 25 basic points, but also hints that maybe this was the last one. We have the non-farm payrolls, which keep showing very uh, uh, solid, strong uh, job market, even though lots of the biggest companies in the tech world keep firing masses of people. That's a very contradicting uh, uh, numbers. Um, but the services um, uh, industry keeps uh, uh, hiring and hiring a lot. Uh, and um, this week, it will be the week of the CPI and race decision in Britain. So before we go um, to all the charts uh, and uh, talk about the opportunities, uh, then in this video, we will cover um, three opportunities which I have on my list. That would be the Euro Canadian a follow up, the pair we were following uh, lately in the last uh, weeks, uh, the pound dollar and the Euro pound, which I believe will be very interesting. Ready? Let's begin. So let's go to the charts, and the first one for us will be the Euro pound. Very interesting pair. Uh, and here is the purely price based uh, uh, um, situation I currently see. Um, but take a look what happens here on a long view since 2017. The pair is uh, moving in a very wide, I say very wide, we're talking about 1000 points here, okay? But very wide range. No trends were defined. Okay? We did have higher highs, then we had lower lows, and anything in between stays inside the range and okay, so the big picture here and the big trend is very 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 uh, flat uh, and uh, yeah it's wide but flat but here is the interesting part currently going on going back to the weekly chart if we connect the most recent two lows what we can see here that the rising supportive line from the weekly chart is yet to be retested and reached uh, and if we go to the daily chart we can clearly see that Right now, the most recent rising supportive line connecting the most recent three lows was broken. Uh, and the uh, structure at the moment is we have three lower highs, lower lows. We also have two lower lows, right? Three lower highs, two lower lows. And right now, this line is broken. Add to that a very interesting fact that the price currently is holding below this massive volume profile based um resistance area and what we receive here is a very possible opportunity the euro pound will try to push down if we connect the lows of this daily channel we will see that it will it should meet us with the weekly uptrend line and the next important swing low we can see here from the daily chart so if there will be no surprises the euro pound can be a very interesting one. What should we pay attention to this week? Uh, so this was the, uh, the previous week again, as I said before, with the Fed hike the rates and the non-farm payrolls really delivering amazing numbers. But this week we should be able to see also some important uh, data coming out. Let's start with the CPI and the core CPI in US. Uh, that will be published on the uh, coming Wednesday. And then Thursday is a busy day in Britain with, as you can see here, official bank rate with expectations uh, to see a hike, also 25 points. Very likely, very um, logical that they will follow um, the US exactly like Europe did recently. But what would be a very important factor here is what will be said for the uh, foreseen future. Um, yeah, pay attention to that. That could, of course, affect our euro pound we were just 
uh, talking about. So uh, my view here is bearish and as long as the most recent swing high is holding for me sell the rallies becomes the plan. Any little pullback back to supports that uh, are broken and now uh, behave as a resistance or falling um, resistance line, like a trend line, could be good zones to look for the price to bounce, reject, start to build some good bearish momentum and look for the sell uh, opportunities uh, to come. So this is my uh, view on the euro pound. The next one on my list would be the pound dollar. But before that, uh, I would like to take the opportunity and to thank Mugen Markets for supporting my channel, our work. Uh, and you can learn more about what Mugen Markets offer to their traders, including their unbeatable spreads and conditions and managed PAM accounts below this video in the description you will find a direct link uh, to follow the next pair would be the pound dollar let's take a look what do we have on this one so bouncing from the long term chart let's even start with the monthly just to present the logic why am i bullish here at the end of these three massive waves we saw a bullish divergence, undeniable bullish divergence, pretty much everywhere. The moving average of the MACD and the RSI, it looks absolutely amazing uh, for the long run. So what else should happen here and did not yet happen is we didn't have the long-term trend line broken in order to really change the trend and we didn't go get the previous high broken. However, we still did not retest the falling resistance line and take a look at these two waves that we will see in a minute on the uh, weekly chart meet the 61 expansion from the weekly chart fibonacci uh, and the falling resistance line from the monthly and this is why i believe eventually we should be going right here these are at the moment the two corrective uh, waves currently building up on the daily chart what uh, what another interesting thing happened here is that we did after some consolidation here we did break um, through this zone and this becomes again based on volume profile as you can see here a lot of volume uh, this becomes a very strong supported area so any pullback that will happen during the week and with a note to pay attention to the uh, rates coming out of Britain, it should use the pair for buy opportunities. Going to the daily chart, we do have here two important lows connecting in this rising supportive line. Broken resistance become a key support and the volume area is the next support. As long as this zone holds, my view for the pound dollar is bullish. I do expect it to reach eventually the 130 plus and this plus could be significant if it managed to break the monthly falling resistance line i showed before so yeah pound dollar for me is by the dips and i am bullish on this one what do you think where is the pound dollar going let me know in the comment section below this video and the, the final one would be the euro cad that survived the previous high as we uh, analyzed on the previous weekly forecast and i also made a follow-up during the week on this uh, instrument it is yet holding the previously created high despite a couple of days ago looked like oh yep doesn't look good so it managed to survive so what happens here is a multi-time frame di divergence and a beautiful as you can see here supply rejection zone around the psychological level 150 and so as long as this area holds look what do we have on the weekly chart two massive spikes presenting controls of the sellers an amazing engulfing candle pattern bearish divergence on the moving averages the rsi and uh, the histogram the rsi as well so um, with that in mind going down to the daily chart we can see how strong these two following uh, reversal candles are it is a very good positive sign 
Dropping down to the four hour chart, we start to see that we do create lower highs, lower lows, and there are no opposite signs against us. So with that in mind, any pullback here for me is a sign of continuation. Important levels to pay attention to is we can go to the lower time frame, like the one hour chart, and we can see that we have over than 20 candles right on the lower Bollinger band. That's usually a sign of exhaustion. So very possible we will see here some slowing down conditions, attempt to pull back and then a continuation down. Levels I would be paying attention to. So first of all, this zone, attempt from the buyers to re uh, resist, which failed. Then of course the broken uh, support becomes the resistance area and uh, previous zone where the buyers tried to reject and failed. These three zones are very important zones to pay attention to together with the falling resistance line that starts to build up. Any pullback towards this zone and I will be looking for evidences to sell further down. Uh, based on the daily and the weekly levels, I would expect this pair to reach at least this key volume zone that is below the 145 potentially all the way down to 142 area and if it managed to break below this zone the next key level would be all the way down to 136 135 so that would be all for this video. I would like to take the opportunity and to thank you for your time watching this video. If you are new to our channel, welcome to our community. Please subscribe with the subscribe button below. And also I do have a request from you. If you find value in such videos and all the trading opportunities and the knowledge I share with you, please show your support back. Hit this like button, drop a few words in the comment section. Uh, your help is very much appreciated and needed. This is how YouTube algorithm works. So thank you very much in advance to all those of you who take the time and uh, support me and my work. And also I want to invite you to join us in our trading family, the Home Trader Club, where you will get your access directly to full trading courses, both beginners and advanced, real-time trading opportunities and real-time trading education together with the access to our trading community. Join our family with the link below this video in the description. Meanwhile, thanks for your time once again. I wish you and yours all the very best. I'll see you soon with more. Good trading and bye for now.